If you want to be more efficient and effective while experiencing more inner peace, then working on the core of your issues instead of putting on a Band-Aid is vital. Welcome to Life Fix University Podcast. I'm your host, SD Rapport, and here to help you improve your 28 cognitive functions, the 28 things that make up thinking. In each episode, we'll discuss a real life challenge, why you might be struggling with it, and give you practical strategies so all areas of your life will improve. If someone comes to you for advice, tips, or looking for an answer, you can tell them or you can use these three ways to help them come up with the conclusion by themselves. This is coming up next on the Life Fix University podcast, episode 381. But first, do you want to make your life easier by working on the core of the issue instead of just putting on a Band-Aid? If so, you'll want to apply for your Brain Rewired, a 90-day program where we work on improving your thinking skills, the skills behind all skills. Head over to lifepixuniversity.com forward slash your brain rewired. That's lifepixuniversity.com forward slash your brain rewired. For today's real life challenge, imagine your friend calls you up asking you if she should leave her job. You know it has to be her decision, so you're trying to help her come up to the conclusion without you actually telling her. If you've listened to episode 354, you know the best way to give a person advice is not to tell them, but to mediate them. Mediation is the process of asking someone questions to help a person come to the conclusion themselves. If you haven't listened to episode 354, you may want to listen to it before you continue as it will give you a better understanding of what we're talking about here. For a quick recap, People don't like being told what to do and usually just go into passive mode when you're talking to them by telling them. If you ask them a question, it turns them from passive to active and it helps them come up with the best answers for them. The better questions you ask, the easier it will be for helping to find the answers that they are looking for. Now that we understand what mediation is and we understand how we're trying to help someone, I'm going to go and turn it on you. Not all mediation is questions. You see, there are three types of mediation. The first type is verbal, anything with words really. This is the main one and the one that we've spoken about in episode 354. The second one is focusing. This is getting them to focus on something or an idea. This can be pointing back to the whiteboard when everybody in a meeting loses focus on what you're trying to do. It can be saying something like, take your time to think about it after you ask someone a question. It can also be helping your child focus on doing his homework. The third one is motor, doing something with them physically. This can be taking their finger and pointing it at a paper, taking your hand and putting it on their heart, anything physical. Obviously, this has to be done with someone that it's appropriate for you to get physical with. The tricky part here is that many times you're doing more than one type of mediation at once. If you clap your hands to regain focus while you're asking a question, you're using focusing and verbaling at once. You don't have to know exactly what group it falls under, but by knowing there are more ways to help someone come to the conclusion, you are more equipped to do better mediation. Up until now, you only thought questions is what you need to help them come to the conclusion. And it's true, it is the main one. But many times we have more options that make the situation more dynamic, more fun, and helps us get the results we want. One last thing before we wrap up. Mediation will not work if you're not connected to the person. The person has to trust you, has to realize that what you are doing is for their benefit. No passive aggressiveness going on here. They have to feel you care about them. You want the best for them. You want the best for them. And then, and only then, will you able to help them get the results they want. Mediation is an amazing process we use to help others figure out challenges they are in. There are three types of mediation, verbal, asking questions, focusing, helping them 
focus on a specific idea or a thing. And three, motor, using their hands or any part of your or their body to help them figure it out. This week, your challenge is to use all types of mediation. It doesn't have to be all three at the same time, but I want you to be aware of them. I want you to practice them and I want you to get better at all of them. Have an awesome day. That's all for this episode of the Life Fix University podcast. If you enjoyed it, please share it with two of your family and friends so they too can gain from it and you'll be helping us reach our goal of 1 million downloads by the end of 2025. Have an awesome rest of your day and grow those dendrites.